Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ellen and I'm back with another Thursday Science Challenge with Headwater Science Institute. Today we're going to be working with transects. The transect is a tool that you use to study changes in a plant or animal community over a distance. It helps you visualize something that may otherwise not be obvious. Your challenge today is to make a transect and investigate something that might be changing near your house. Okay, making a transect is really easy. All you need is rope or string. I found this climbing rope in my garage, so I'm going to use that, but you can use something as skinny as a piece of string or a length of string, and that works fine. I also have a meter stick. You can use a meter tape if you have one. And I'm going to start at one end of the rope, and I'm going to measure out one meter length. Then I'm going to put it on the ground, and I'm going to mark off that meter length. Then I'm going to pick it up and measure out two meter lengths and then mark it. And then I'm going to pick it up and measure out three meter lengths and then mark it. And I'm going to keep going all the way down the rope. This one is about 30 meters. That's a great length. Anything you can find close to that is great. So now I have a marked off rope in one meter segments. Now let's go outside and do some science. I live on a dirt road and I'm wondering if the water runoff or the dust from the road is affecting the plants alongside it. Are there more or less plants near the road? I can use my transect and my quadrat from last week to answer that question. I'm going to start on the left side of the road and I'm going to put the end of my transect right on the edge of the dirt. I'll pull the rope all the way out without moving this end. Starting at the dirt, I'm going to walk down to the one meter mark and put my quadrat right across the rope where the black mark is. I want to see what percent of plants are in my quadrat. If the whole quadrat is green, I would say that it's 100% plants. Looking at my first quadrat here, I'm going to estimate that I have 20% green plants in there. You'll have to adjust your percentage depending on what you see. At first it will take some thinking, but it gets a lot easier the more you do it. On my next quadrat, the plants are a lot smaller, so I have to get real close to look at it. On this one, I'm going to give the percentage at 35%. Some quadrats won't have anything growing in it, and this one will be easy. This one will be 0% vegetation. After I finished my 30 meter rope, I decided I wanted to see what was going on on the right side of the road. While you're working, make sure you write your data down on something like this. So now I've made a graph. On my x-axis, I have the distance from the road in meters. On my y-axis, I have the percent of vegetation that I measured in my quadrat. I'm going to go back to my data sheet and start at the top. At zero meters, the edge of the road, I found zero percent vegetation. So my first dot is going to be right at zero, zero. My next line is one meter down, and I found 20 percent vegetation. So I'm going to go to one meter and up to 20. Make a dot. Now I'm going to go to two meters. It's 25 percent. So I'm going to go to two meters and make a dot at 25 percent. And I'm going to go all the way down my graph sheet, my data sheet, and plot all the dots. Now that I've finished my graph with the red dots representing the left side of the road and the blue dots representing the right side of the road, I'm looking for a trend. It appears the left side of the road has more vegetation close to the edge of the road than the right side, but clearly both of them have diminishing vegetation the further away you get from the road. Now the dots on my chart show that there's more vegetation on this side of the road close to the road than on that side of the road. It kind of makes sense because this is sloped downhill and these plants probably are getting a little more water. It makes me wonder how much water is actually running off this road. That's the really great thing about science is there's always another question to answer. So go out into your yard, investigate what you can, and please share with us what you find. Have fun!